When something big or notable happens, it's important to avoid hyperbole and recency bias. So saying, oh my God, this is the biggest thing, or oh my God, this is the most massive thing to happen of all time. However, this is not one of those moments to be worried about that shit. Because of all the things that have happened in professional wrestling, at least in my lifetime, what happened the other day is the single biggest piece of wrestling news, period, that we have ever seen. Bigger than WCW and ECW folding. You name the story, even the deaths and tragedies, those are big notable items. But there's only one news story of this magnitude. And that is at the age of 77, no, Vince McMahon, whoever tweeted for him, you're still 76, according to the official records. <laughs> at age 76, Vincent Kennedy McMahon has formally, allegedly, retired from all of his duties involving WWE. This is it. There is not a single bigger news story relating to wrestling that you can point to. The Montreal screw job, fuck off. WCW and ECW getting bought by WWE. Massive story at the time, yes, but does not measure in terms of gravity, impact, and significance of this. Because beyond question, and you could point to other historical figures. I saw somebody on Twitter yesterday talking about like the Gold Tusk Trio. And yes, Strangler Lewis and Sandow and Tootsmont certainly had a notable impact on the business. That was almost a hundred damn years ago. Hardly anybody fucking knows about them. The most important, most significant figure in professional wrestling history of now, of all time in the past and probably all time in the future will be Vincent K. McMahon. There are two opinions to have on this. The right one, which is agreeing with that statement, and the wrong one in saying that that's not the case. Period. I mean, this was something you always knew someday was going to have to happen, whether he was going to get too sick and he'd have to retire, or he would die on the job, or he would finally say enough is enough. Like, you knew someday this was going to happen. But it doesn't change the fact that this is an incredibly surreal moment and an unprecedented moment in the history of professional wrestling. And that, again, is not recency bias or hyperbole. That is stone-cold effing fact. The biggest, most notable presence and figure in professional wrestling over the past four decades has hung it up at the age of 76. We are truly in uncharted and unprecedented times in wrestling, at least in our lifetimes. And of course, because of the magnitude and the significance of this moment, this was covered all over the, all over the place in the mainstream media, and not just mainstream sports media, but mainstream media, because Vince McMahon is the single biggest star you could argue in professional wrestling history. When you talk about the on-screen Mr. McMahon character, the greatest heel in wrestling history, both on-screen and certainly behind the scenes, who the fuck else are you going to point to? I mean, come the hell on. Nobody ever, ever will be the level of heel in wrestling that Vince McMahon is. Period. There is no argument to make. There isn't. There just isn't. When you talk about all of the mainstream attention. That's because they associate the McMahon name, they associate Vince McMahon with not just his company, WWE, but with professional wrestling as a whole. He's in that same stratosphere of thinking about a name and thinking about wrestling as a Hogan, as a Rock, as an Austin, as an Andre. And if you think I'm kidding, you're kidding yourselves. And what's interesting about it is, it truly is unprecedented. So it's hard to know, I guess, for the wrestling media, how to cover it. I'm not here to defend them necessarily, but it is unprecedented. That, that must be acknowledged. 
And what I find so crazy about this is of all the dirty, greasy, grimy, grubby shit that Vince McMahon has done throughout his career in the business, all the shit he's done to people both allegedly and acknowledged over the years, that these allegations, this most recent round, this was the straw that broke the camel's back? This was the bridge too far? This was the one that he couldn't come back from? This was the one that sunk the almighty Vince McMahon? It's surreal. It's hard to believe. It really, really is. Now, you can sit there and acknowledge the historical significance of Vince McMahon in professional wrestling. You can acknowledge his greatness as a promoter. You can acknowledge his greatness as a performer, as a mind for sports entertainment. You could do all that, and that is all fair to do. It is also fair to talk about all the bad things that Vince represented over the years. It is fair to talk about the business acumen in the good way. It is fair to talk about the loss of creative acumen in a bad way. But when you're talking about Vince McMahon and this retirement, don't be a Gerald Briscoe. Don't sit there and start launching into assaults against the marks, all the while coming across like the biggest fucking raging mark your damn self. Bottom line is what Vince McMahon was doing and being was accused of doing and alleged to have done is not acceptable behavior for a CEO, period. And no matter how much of a cocoon of a cult of personality surrounded the man in tightened hours, you just can't have that shit. Regardless if it was between consenting adults or not. You point to that CEO, that leader, that chairman of the board to set the standard for all to follow. And he was very derelict in those duties. I mean, I almost feel like I'm not giving the proper synopsis to Vince McMahon's career, and I'll probably do that in a separate video, because this is just more about the reaction to the gravity and the moment and the significance of what happened the other day. I mean, this is not a small thing. It is unprecedented. For so many of you, for myself, we don't know. For those of you that have been wanting Vince McMahon to step aside for a long time, you got your damn wish now. Although sometimes be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Now, a change in leadership can certainly represent a lot of positive things for the talent involved, for the creative involved, for the company as a whole. That is true. Because the vice-like grip that Vince McMahon held over his company, the dictatorial way with which he ran his company was not healthy or sustainable forever. However, we've seen elements of the leadership of Stephanie McMahon in Triple H over the years involving running different components and parts of WWE, and shall we say we should be less than impressed, to which I know some of you are going to sit there and talk about, well, I loved NXT and what Hunter did there, and yeah, the, exactly. Exactly. If you take that type of crap and you put it on a grander scale, WWE is going to be in an even worse spot. I mean, that's a fact. That's a reality. Like, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Because a fair and important point to call out here is when you're talking about founders, even though you can say, well, his dad founded the territory originally, but in its modern incarnation, Vincent K. McMahon founded the WWF the WWE. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to care as much about that company and everything about it like a Vince McMahon. Not a Stephanie, not a Nick Khan, not a Triple H, or even if he was in the picture of Shane McMahon. Speaking of bad timing, holy shit, the moment he had always been waiting for and now it finally happens and it's Stephanie that's the one in calling the shots here. And as far as the co-CEO crap between Stephanie and Nick Khan, yeah, how many companies have co-CEOs and how well does that usually work out? <clears throat> Can't wait to see how this goes down. Speaking of those that should be worried is Kevin Dunn. He's about to pick himself out a nice spot on the lake and build himself a big dam and be as happy as he possibly can be chopping on that wood and shit. Because he's next. We can acknowledge Vince McMahon and all that he meant to wrestling 
and not be so fawning over him to where we dismiss all of the shit, where we belittle or you know try to minimize the allegations that were very serious against him to some degree, at least from a standpoint of what type of behavior, code of conduct you would expect the CEO of a publicly traded company to demonstrate. Not to mention all the other allegations of impropriety and illegal behaviors and illegal actions over the years. Like the crazy thing about Vince McMahon is you can't just tell one story about him. You cannot just focus on the negative, even though that can be easy to do. You cannot just focus on the positive, although again, that can be very easy to do, although might not be as easy based off of the last few years of his career, but still, you can point to a lot of things. Like the trick and the challenge here is to be able to tell the entire Vince McMahon story. There's many layers to that onion. So if you see somebody on social media talking about, oh, if it wasn't for Vince McMahon, you wouldn't have this, you wouldn't have that, you wouldn't have anything when it comes to professional wrestling. It very well might be true. If somebody says, well, that fucking racist fuck needed to go a long time ago with his old senile ass power tripping and all. It's probably true. And probably should acknowledge that all that shit is true. So it's something that nobody really needs to go back and forth on. Where you lose the plot is when you start sitting there and trying to yeah, be all snarky about your comments in relation to one side or the other here because all of them are true. That's the complexity of the man. I wonder what the fuck he's going to do now. What's he going to do? Take a nap? <laughs> and go to the gym at 4 a.m.? Like, what the hell is Vince McMahon going to do? You know, you wonder sometimes for somebody that was so emotionally and energetically invested in something for so many decades, such a big part of his life as Vince McMahon, you wonder if this is something that you won't be surprised if you heard in a year or two that he passed away from a broken heart. Might be something else, but he committed and invested so much into it. Like, it would not surprise me at all. Now, was it a little cringy to hear fans on SmackDown chanting, thank you, Vince? Maybe. But again, that's the complexity of the man. Like, how do you react to something like this? Like, this is truly an unprecedented event, unprecedented times in wrestling for everybody fucking involved. So there is no playbook here. Because I can certainly say without a Vince McMahon, my life would be dramatically different. I certainly sure as hell wouldn't have watched wrestling all these years. I sure as hell wouldn't still to this day, over a decade after starting it, still be talking about professional wrestling on damn YouTube. People that I've met, interactions that I've had, things that I've been able to do in part because of professional wrestling ties back to Vince McMahon. Like him or not. It's a very, very, very complex individual. Very, very, very complex thing to discuss. Got to acknowledge all of that. But what is clear though is that there's a new day for WWE, for whatever that's going to mean, good, bad, or otherwise. Those of you that have been chomping at the bit for this for a long time, you got it. You better hope you're happy with what you got, but you've got it now. And you might see some things that will change in the short term. The TV 14 rating, you know, there might be some other things. You know, maybe the commentators will sound more natural. The shit will feel less scripted, less rehearsed, less fake, maybe. But it might not be. It might even get fucking worse. We're going to find out, though. I, uh, admittedly, there's a piece of me that's more interested in the WWE than I have been for a long, long time. Because this is something truly different. This is the single biggest change that the WWE could ever do. And it's happened. It's happened. So, yeah, maybe I'll come back and do another video talking about Vince McMahon's career do a retrospective on that because it feels like it, it requires more time and more thought than I can give it right now. But again, there is no question. This is a very complex topic to talk about with a lot of conflicting feelings, but beyond question, Vince McMahon is the most impactful individual in professional wrestling history, and this is truly a once-in-a-lifetime event for all of us to experience.